Good morning, gamers. How we all doing today? We doing? We doing good? Everyone, everyone happy? It's Friday. That's right. It's fung. It's it's funger time. John, no, my salad isn't done yet. Listen, ultra peg leg cat. Just three things that the final gamer doesn't care about. One, non gamers. Two. Uh, uh, films about World War Two. Three. That's right, boys. Mondo cool. Salad. Uh, it's not a concern of mine. It's not something that holds a great amount of priority in my life. Uh, I don't create any. I, I think one should eat their greens. You gotta eat your veg, veg, veggies, and your your fruits. Uh, I think there's infinitely more interesting ways to do that than salad. Let me tell you. Okay. I'm not trying to start any arguments here, but I'm just, I'm just being real, you know, I'm just, I am, as so many of you know, I came into this world bearing a great curse. And it's the curse of realness. That's right. Um, my, um, too real for my own good, possibly for the good of, for the, for the good of everyone. I think everyone in chat will agree with this. Um, salad is good when you add fried chicken and incredible unhealthy dressing. Yeah, salad is good when when you um, salad is good when you make it not salad and you make it a complete other dish. That's right, I like boys. that. Um, so that's a fair point just to watch. I thought Garfield was the curve. Okay, look, I am wearing a Garfield shirt, but that is that is only because that is only because I forgot to wash. Uh, a, a beautiful eye patch wolves t-shirt which you can get at eyepatchwolves.com um there's no sale or anything you're just gonna pay normal fucking prices but uh it, that's where you can get one if 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 you want um yeah um <laughs> so yeah how is everyone doing how, how how is everyone's week who needs who needs some like life advice um that, that's that's what I'm here for. That's what these streams are all about. Um, hello, Final Gamer. I've got COVID and I feel like crap. So thank you for giving me this distraction. No problem, Stone Gladius. I uh, hope you feel better soon, buddy. Um, I made two friends in my new school. Hell yeah! Linus the Bee. Linus the Bee. You go. Can I trauma dump for five paragraphs? Parasocial buddy. Uh, absolutely not. <laughs> Or at least not now. Unfortunately, this is not the venue for it, and your message will go by too quickly, and I will not see it. Um, help me, final gamer. I've been writing an analysis on Beyond Two Souls for five years, and the rabbit hole keeps getting bigger. My friend, welcome to video essays. Um, this is this is just, this is just what they be. Um, any advice for finding something to distract you when you're upset? Oh, comfort media. Go back to the shit that makes you really happy and that has worked for you in the past. I'm talking, you load up those Yu Yu Hakusho Chapter Black episodes and you just get right in there and you don't worry about nothing. That's what I would do anyway. But yeah, comfort media. Go to, go to your comfort media, buddy. Feel better soon. Um, I lost super hard in Yu-Gi-Oh against my best friend this week. That'll happen. I guess my that 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 that'll happen, buddy. People people lose shit all the time. Um, there was a guy in training who kind of shows up every once in a little while, and I will say I'm not I'm not a huge fan of this dude. He he shows up late, and he's really really kind of cocky. And he he's 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 a, he's also a blue belt. He's he's a blue belt white stripe, so he's one rank above me. And so I was really like, I'm gonna fucking destroy this guy. And so eventually it comes to the time we got to fight and this dude whooped my fucking ass. It was like I got washed out in a way I haven't gotten washed out in like months. And I was like, what the fuck happened? You know, and um, that was a couple of weeks ago. I had my rematch this week and I was like, I understand what happened last time. Sometimes I. I overestimate my own abilities and I rush people who are waiting for it and fall into all their counters. So I'm going to play this match way more defensively. I'm going to wait for him to make the mistakes and I'm going to capitalize. 
And let me tell you guys, he whooped my fucking ass again. Like, worse than the first time. So, I guess the lesson there is that I'm gonna pay to have a bunch of, like, large people uh, obliterate this man physically. So, I would say you could maybe incorporate a similar tactic into your Yu-Gi-Oh! friend group. Is that viable? Is that something you could do? Yeah, I think everyone seems to think that's uh everyone seems to think that's a great idea. He's probably cheating, so you should cheat. Yeah. You know, I he did push off a wall at one bit, which I thought, look, I ain't gonna I ain't no narc. I ain't gonna go telling people what the rules are. But strictly speaking, it's a bit of a dick move. And he didn't need to do that because he's way better than me. That's right, boys. Mondo cool. Um why did you take down the charity VOD? I want to get ready watching the whole playthrough. Are you going to upload it to your channel? Is the charity VOD down? Hmm, huh, that's troubling. Give me give me one sec here, people. That should... Uh, that should... Although, I think we have had trouble with this. That should... Let me see here. Where is the 15-hour charity VOD? Yeah, it's still... It's, it's still here. Um... I will link it in the chat now. So the answer there is that um, Twitch's interface is garbage and it makes it occasionally very difficult to find what you're looking for. Um, I have no idea when we'll add the charity VOD to the YouTube channel. Uh, basically, kind of most things are on hold for me at the moment because A, we're in the final like crunch period of a big video, which will be out. Maybe next weekend, maybe a little after that, but like we're, we're it's it's a coming, it's a coming, and then also I am also pretty neck deep in Eye Patch Wolves Run Three at the moment, which is awesome, and I'm really excited about it. Shit just takes a lot of work. Okay, guys, real quick, um, the final gamer gets a lot of fan art that he really appreciates. And I did not prep for this, so I'm going to have to see what I can find. But um, I wanted to just show some of the cool shit that people have been drawing me. Because I really genuinely appreciate the heck out of it, okay? And people do me some, some, some wild stuff. Including a dramatic reading of an animatic someone sent me. Which was just so cool. Um, yeah, I think from time to time I'd like to start showing the cool art people do me because some of it's like so fucking rad and it's just like oh man someone drew this you know it warms my heart uh this is one by um uh, by phil t casual and this is the final gamer approaching the crow mauler about to whoop his fucking ass, um, and I really, I, I love it. I think, I think, I think it's, it's so nice. It's so cool. Um, but there was someone who submitted something to the Discord recently that was like just fucking wild. Uh, okay, there's no sound to this, so I'm gonna add my own sound to it. Uh, Okay, here we go. Here we go. So, this is a video that is called Beyond Final Gamer Mode. This is bad. Not even the final gamer mode will get me out of this. I need to go beyond. I need more power. I see you're looking for power. I might be able to help you with that. I can make your desire become reality.
Let's join forces, John. Huh! That's so fucked up. How? I have no interest in your petty power handouts. I shall take all the power for myself. <laughs> it's chomping time. The final gamer approaches. Oh, that's so good. Oh, that's so good. Um, fair play. Let me just grab the Discord, the, the name of the person who did it. Uh, Martin Wunderl. So that's Martin M A O R. T I N W N D E R L. Great, uh, so fucking good. Okay, chat. Without further ado, let's get the show on the road. Okay, so usual rules with fear and hunger. Uh, try not to be too backseaty. Also, we're playing as Livia. Uh, fucking c no, no wheelchair jokes. They're they're stupid, and we don't need them. Um. And with that, we begin. Power botanist jokes good. Power botanist jokes very good. That's allowed. Uh, as ever, we are playing with the sensor mod from Dark Raccoon. Big shout out to Dark Raccoon and making these streams possible. Uh, Non-zero chance of peen, absolutely. So last time we went and we explored the orphanage. I don't think I want to do that this time. I think I want to get a better sense of what is around this city. Oh, that fucking song. Okay, so that's right. So, Temple District, we've been to the church, we've been to the business district, we've been to the res- okay. I would recommend investigating the mall more thoroughly. We need team member- okay. So if I remember right, the mall was up this direction, wasn't it? Anything too much in here. Okay, you know what? We're just gonna we're just gonna move out, and we're gonna have a chill time, and we're just gonna sp explore things as they come. Okay, there's the there's the penis umbrellas. Not... God damn it. Oh god, it's such a fucking disturbing design. Uh, I think I just want to run. I, I don't think I want to fight. Ah, shit. Oh my god, what the fuck? Ah! Uh, no! No!
That's right, Pokemon. That's not the time for the Mundo Cool subscription! Okay. Okay. Come on. Come on. Let's shake it off. I think we should bring back the component wheel. Absolutely That's not. Right, boys. Mondo cool. Uh, just a reminder, the Mondo Cool subscription is only for when I do awesome things. You're not it's not meant to be used when I die. I genuinely don't understand how people in chat haven't gotten that yet. Like we're still having mix-ups about when is appropriate for that 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 notification, okay? I get pretty, pretty fucking sick and tired here, chat. Actually, I think there's a bunch of stuff in there. Two lucky coins. Oh, nice. Hmm. That's right, boys. Mondo cool. Okay, let's get away. Let's get away from these guys. I don't like them. That's right, boys. Mondo cool. So what if I'm going this way? Is there an equi equivalent to the crow mauler in this game? Actually, there is. Um, there is a clown called um, Needles, who I think serves a similar function to the crow mauler. I don't think he's like as strong as the crow mauler, but I think he hunts you in the same way. And if you don't take care of him early on, he starts affecting the story. Is what I understand, at least. God, I hate these fucking things. Oh! Hell yeah. Okay, I think I want to follow the screaming this time. You should apply a compressor to the mic. Yes, I should. I will keep that in mind. Thank you for the advice. Because I think we just passed through this last time, and apparently there's some wild shit in here. Oh, those screams are getting closer. Take the chainmail dress. Oh, awesome. This gives me such Silence Hill 3 vibes. That's right, boys. Mondo cool. I'm assuming there's more to the mall than this place, right? Like, if there's another room I have to be able to go into, yeah? Yes, okay. All the way to the right there. Another level, stairs go up. That's right, boys. Mondo cool. Oh, I see. Uh Vertigo distorts your view of the lower floors. You feel dizzy. Uh, what the fuck is happening? Oh god, oh god. Uh 
That's that's not good. The dried man is holding something tightly. The leechmonger ring. Accessory. Um. Uh. That's right, boys. Mondo cool. Each ring, a hefty ring forged by the hermit mages of South who dedicated their lives to the god of the depths hundreds of years ago. The mages were able to infuse the ring with life draining magic. Um, it's either that. Gas mech by the brawn flame troopers. Flame troopers were often used in city warfare. Search. That's pretty good. I'm going to go for this thing. Jesus, that's so fucking weird. Actually, I want to have that was that was that was everything up there, right? We got everything. I kind of want to have a little more of a look around up there. Oh God. Yeah, it seems like they're making white angels here, which is so fucked up. White angels were a monster in the first game that were like... Actually, not that difficult, but they dropped one of the best items in the game. Okay, I don't, I, I don't want to be here anymore. I am, I am bothered. God, this game can be so chill sometimes. Door is locked. This is back down the sewers. The second I see one of those shit men, I'm I'm running. Uh, see you later guys. No, don't want don't want any part. Goodbye. Um The ruination of this area seems somewhat recent. I was this where we died on one of the first days? There's a landmine. That'll kill me. This area seems relatively safe. What is that music? Um. Mm. A bollocks. Uh. Did I get him? Oh, jeez. Oh, come on. We're still alive. We're still alive. Uh.
Oh. Yes. Okay. Boom! Yes! Oh man, I thought he had us. I thought he had us for sure. Olivia is at us. She continues unarmed. Rusty is down. Search him. Find the meat mallet. Rusty is down. Saw off his fucking head! Half cocooned head, though. That's so gross. Ah, uh, just beat him for good measure. The meat mallet is plus 36, and our castor is plus 35. Meat mallet it is. And let's just... Okay. Okay. And let's keep going. God, I'm so glad I switched to shotgun there at the last minute. Thanks for bringing joy on a Friday evening. It's needed. Oh, no problem, buddy. I like playing these. Uh, I really do. Oh, God. That's a mine. That's a mine. That's a mine. We've been here already, right? Yeah. You can step on the mine, nothing will happen. Yes. Yes, it will happen. Okay, I think that's everything. Or is it? No, I don't think it is. Oh shit, no, I, I don't want to fight another one of them. A city that has fallen from grace. Okay, let's... Okay, something's coming. Something's near. We're okay. Oh, fuck! Fuck, 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 fuck. Fuck, 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 fuck. Uh, uh... Okay, calm down. Don't step in a mine. Don't step on a mine. Just chill. Oh, God! Um... Chill. Let's just hide in this horrible dark building where nothing bad could happen. Find a pipe. Blue vial. Nothing left here. Mushroom stew. Bone saw. You see, chat, the thing about me is that I keep my cool. And that's the most important thing when suffering through the horrors of fear and hunger. I think one thing I do really like about this game compared to the first one is, like, there is moments of genuine chillness in, in Fear and Hunger 2. Like, the train at the start, the, like, the bar, this place. There's moments where, like, you really actually can kind of relax, and I feel like that's so rare in the first game. Like, there are places, but they're usually very tiny and very brief. Can I smash it with my hammer? Boom! No. The door is too strong for me. But yeah, it's... It's mad. It's such a different game from the first one. It's crazy. Shotgun shell. Yes. I've already like been thinking about like 
what I want the Fear and Hunger 2 video to be. And it's exciting. It's There's going to be some fun stuff I can do. The Deep Woods. Oh. This is actually probably not a bad place for Olivia to explore because we can get, like, all the plant life. Um, I'm probably really going to regret saying that. But let's just see how we get on here. Oh, that that song is very beautiful, but very ominous. All the poison hemlock you could handle. Um I notice there is a sound gradually getting louder. And I've come across that before in these games, and usually it's a sign. Oh! 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 That you can relax. Pro tip avoid the pit. Oh, thank you! Thank you so much! Buy on Tekel. Thank you. Thank, thanks for that. Amazing tip. Don't fall down the fucking hole with spikes in it. I'm so grateful that I have such an enlightened chat who will warn me of such dangers. Thank you. I, I swear to God. One more person subscribes. I'm fucking ending this stream right now. That's right, boys. Well, like, not actually, but I just, you, you know, fucking God damn it. John, next time, listen to the tips. Right, uh, no, I refuse. Maybe don't die next time. Awesome. Thank you for that, uh, Hockey Sue. Um, you can fall down the pits. Please just be careful of the spikes. I don't get... I feel like... Right, I don't feel like anyone in chat is taking this seriously enough. Um, and I don't appreciate it. I, I don't like it. And I don't have to take it. I was liking exploring the forest. So I think we're going to head back there. Don't forget to the lead string. Yeah, I won't. Um, let's just roll shotgun out. Because at least we'll be able to react to people that way. And also, I just fucking love how Olivia looks with shotgun in hand. She just looks like a little fucking king. Oh, god damn it! Uh... Sorry about that. I, I, okay. I'm gonna put, I'm gonna put this away for the moment, because we don't have enemies for a little bit. Um, yeah, you, you shouldn't generally walk into cafes and just let one off like that. It's considered bad form in most countries. Um. Okay. That's right, boys. Mondo. Cool. That would. God, that's not. If I swear to God, if that was at me, fire. Oh, chat, you got me a 10. You got you got me a 10 today. I finally finished Vinland Saga Season 2. And um, it was awesome. Vinland Saga is one of the best things in anime at moments. Uh, no question. I was actually shocked to see that it's only like... Uh, it's only like 100 chapters behind where the manga is. But yeah, it, it it the bit that gets everyone in season two got me. The I have no enemies bit was just Chef's Kiss as good as everyone says. I I had a wonderful time with it. Go! Whoa! Mmm! Come on. And away we go. This this floor I actually find really unsettling because I feel like it gets really like weird and non-Euclidean. Like it kind of the geometry of it sort of stops making sense. Oh god. Oh god! I, I fell down the stairs. Oh 
poor fellas. Hmm, which way will I go? Because we could go back to the forest. We could go north. Chat, which way are we going? We going north, we going south, we going west. North, 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 forest. I think, I think it's the north people want to go. What the fuck? What? What? Oh! I'm like, genu- like, shocked? Uh. Who the fuck is that? He's down. Let's take let's take out his buddy as well. I don't think I'm hitting him. No, I'm not. Okay, I'm I'm going to go away and I'm going to come back and hopefully he despawns and I can get to that guy's dead body. Jesus, that that scared the shit out of me. Because he didn't come out straight away. Like, we, we've never met him before. Ah, uh, no. Oh, God. Um. Oh. Okay, we're back at the orphanage, chat. I don't want to go back in the orphanage. Who the fuck is shooting at me? It's the mob again. Oh god. Oh god. Um. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, um. Knock, knock, motherfucker! Okay. Oh fuck, shit, 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 shit. Uh, no, I don't want to deal with them. Uh, this, uh, this is so- Oh, oh, um, okay, I need to unequip my guns so I can run. Um. F fly, Olivia, fly! Okay, I gotta get past the Bobby. Oh god, oh god, Ah. Uh. Um. <laughs> the monstrosity is down. Search. You take the desk mask and chainmail dress. Monstrosity is down. Saw off your fucking head. Okay. Oh! Oh, it's just one of those wieners. I can take him out. I can take him out. Um... Boom! Surprise, motherfucker! Oh! Mm. Now... That's... That... That's not... What the game showed. Um. Fly, Olivia, fly.
Okay, chat. Chat. Be honest. How many people thought that your boy, the final gamer, was finished there? That's right, boy. See, there, there. Side character gets it. I do something awesome, and people subscribe. That's how this works. Oh, that that was a stressful, stressful couple of minutes, chat. Um, okay, now we're just going to take this nice and slow, and we're not going to make any silly mistakes. That's right, boys. Mondo cool. <sighs> this is all fine. We got nothing to worry about. Where are you, motherfucker? Where are you? Come on. Come out. Nope. If I can avoid him, I'll avoid him. Get a super calming feeling from this place. But that's okay. Because we have our best friends, little Mr. Shoddy. Um, people are telling me to put on the leech ring, so there we go. Thank you. No, no, please leave me alone. Uh, uh, okay. 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 We're fine. We're chill. We're keeping the pull slow. You're not going to catch me. Don't. Okay, if this is what you want. That's, you want more? Huh, thought that would kill you. Bye! Watch that mine. No, thank you. No, thank you. Hype. Olivia's weak from hunger. Eat your eggs, Olivia. It's the only way to get strong. Oh, shit. Without warning, the soldier takes point blank shot at you. Oh, Christ. Nice. Oh, no. Uh, I do not have a weapon equipped. all revved up, so let's just go straight to his body. Nine, minute, 
Nice. Collect that fucking head. So Olivia, Olivia cut off that guy's gun arm, which leads me to believe she performed some sick wheelchair maneuver and just took his arm right off. Okay. Now this time, this forest ain't getting the better of me. So, chat, how prevalent... No! No! <laughs> to complete my question, chat... That's right, boy. How prevalent... Are the pits, and do I need to look out for more than one? That's right, boys. Mondo cool. Anonymous, the brownest bear. I see your game. So, right at the last second there, I spotted, like, I think I saw, like, the planks or some, like, little disturbance that would have let me identify that. I now know what that is? Oh, an iron spear. Uh, they weren't that good in Fear and Hunger. They're probably not that good in this. I'll, I'll check it out in a little bit. Right, well, I want to get past this loser, but I can't. Okay, so I saw a lot of people who want me to go do orphanage. Um, we can go do orphanage if that is what chat desires. Because we've, we've done forest twice now, and I have a bit of experience in them both. So, fuck it. Yeah, let's go do orphanage. Um, I'm guessing I don't... Oh, oh. I'm guessing I don't have to fight the priest in order to be or to make progress in orphanage though, right? That's right, boys. Mondo cool. Want to get that ring first, though? People are so keen for me That's to get the right, ring. Boys. Mondo cool. What is the story with those lads in the coffin? Do they just come out if you spend too long in any area? Apparently it's random. God, that's so scary. And I'm I'm guessing those guys are like strong if you uh if you try and fight them. They're a bad time, yeah. Damn it! Oh, not again. Oh yes, they are limb severing beasts. No, thank you. Step on a bear trap. Okay. Okay. Let's go visit the orphanage. I might have to run past this guy. Oh! Oh no! Oh no! Um. Oh, these guys are dangerous. Hmm. Let's get that out of his hands. Ouch.
these guys aren't actually that bad. Actually. Man, you get a lot of health back with that thing. Oh my god, okay, there's no point going for that. It has too much HP. Oh my god, go down. And let's take that head. Cut them nuts off. You can go for the head. Okay, gotcha. Okay. This is the orphanage. And one thing I kind of learned here last time is that those, the little haunted children are way easier taken care of from a distance than they are close up. That leech ring is incredible, by the way. Fair play to everyone who pointed that out. Oh god, they're such weird little creatures. The book seems to be clean. Check this navigation to find the book of enlight- Oh my god, is that a save? We haven't gotten one of them in Fear and Hunger 2 yet. That's handy. Do Books of Enlightenment work the same way in this as they do in Funger 1? Yep, yeah, okay. Okay, we're getting through it. Crucially, they do not advance time. That's what I was wondering. That's sick. So they're like an even more valuable resource than they are in Fear and Hunger 1. That's, that's wild. Skin Bible, Chapter Venushka. I think, do we have that? Man in Dreams Flyer. We've read the Man in Dreams Flyer, all right. The book seems to be in good order. You find the Alchemical Volume 2. That looks like a map of Brehavale. Four ages of history. The modern age and the modern chronology began from the birth of our Lord, the Ascended One, Almer. There are many fabricated religious texts about Almer, but there is enough evidence to prove that Almer did indeed exist as a real person in this time. His birth would mark as the first age, the second age stated from the reign of the so-called new gods in the year 1410. There are texts about the different new gods prior to this event but the concept did exist in ancient times as well, but this is a group of people included in the famed, included the famed warlord from the Eastern Sanctuaries, Nashra the Great. Back, we back. Oh, that was weird chat. I, I don't know what went down there, but look, we're back now. That's right, boys. Mondo cool. <laughs> um, he forgets the teachings of the old time disease and disease and turn to your savior. The appearance of the god of fear and hunger started the fourth age in which mankind had to learn and adapt and evolve. As time has progressed, we are still living according to this ideology. information. 
Okay, there's a little ghost demon person. Uh... Take the lit candle. Okay. Get oh shit. Uh... Nice. Oh god damn it. So she goes after your mind. Um, is this game really twice as long as the first one? Um, I think this game is actually much longer than the first one. Um, I could be wrong about that, but I think the map is definitely like bigger and there's much more in it. Not not 100% because I'm only still kind of early on in it, but yeah, that's my feeling. Stone cold. They go down really easy. They're a nightmare when you fight them, as anyone who is tuned into that stream has seen. I'm still heartbroken over trying to give Moonless that rotten meat and her just not accepting it. Oh, there are rusty iron chains here. They're covered with similar stains that are found next on the floor. Oh, that's not good. Oh man, I didn't see that at all. God damn it. Oh, that's bad. Come on, Olivia, come on. Oh no, god damn it. Drink some beer, Olivia. Hmm. I don't think we're dead. I, I don't think we're dead. Where is it? Whoa, god damn it! Equip the old rifle. Look, I don't, I, I don't want no trouble with these kids. All right, this, this last thing I want. They, they come, they come for me, okay? And it's, it's the law of the jungle in here. All right, that's all there is to this. I will say, I have made some questionable decisions as regard the safety of children on these streams. This ain't on me! That, not on me!
<laughs> I liked how that other guy stopped for a second. He was like, oh, shit. Lock the door, and that's going to bring us back here. Nothing personal, kid. has kept a record of their previous orphans even after they leave the place. So I guess there's nothing too useful in here. Um, John, you mentioned you mentioned Olivia being a poison type trainer. Do you think she'd own like three oddishes? No, she'd she'd Olivia'd be fucking cool, man. She'd she'd have like the big scary poison. She'd have a Toxicroak. Definitely, she'd have a Gengar. No, Olivia, Olivia's, Olivia's cool. Did we explore here? I guess I think we did. Okay, up the stairs we go, and I don't know if you just, if you guys noticed us fucking Dempsey rolling our way through that ghost encounter. Probably get this bit with. Uh, mm. There. Small key, nice. I think the priest is in here, and I don't want any part of him. Yeah, I think I'm going to move past that. And we are out of ammo. I mean, we could use the Book of Enlightenment here. You have to defeat the Irish priest. I mean, I've beaten him before. Okay, let's let's use the Book of Enlightenment, and yeah, I think that's that's the call here. Actually, let's feed ourselves first. I think the Cassara is probably our best bet. Yeah. We got our leech ring. Let's heal up. Oh, we have we have twelve shotgun rounds though. Don't think you can beat the priest alone. I act I did before with them. Um, I did before with uh, Marco, so it's not impossible, but it is hard. Look, we're go we're gonna save and we're gonna give it a shot. We have loads of healing items. I think we have a decent shot. Probably a bit of a waste, but fuck it. Um, okay. Let's give this a go. The book radiates light in every color spectrum. You feel your journey has just begun, as if your existence since this very moment has been like watching someone else entirely. 
You feel a perspective shift in your surroundings, as if everything was to shrink or perhaps you were to ascend higher. You gain a better understanding of yourself. The link between your mind and body starts to deteriorate. Boom. Okay. We're gonna roll on in there with a shotgun and see what this guy's got. What to do, what to do, what to do. Uh, peep, peepy alert? Really? Oof. Oh, he is wombo comboing the shit out of us. Please, please lose your arm. Nice, okay. Father Hugo wants to take off his clothes. Ah! Uh, chat! Oh, 